Hi beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a beautiful day and today we're gonna do a Halloween decor haul. This will be the second one of the season. There may be one other in the future, we'll see. I think I've done most of my Halloween shopping already though, so maybe not. But if you haven't seen part one, I'll leave a link down below. Some really great items over that video, like some holy grail items for me, including this witch back here. Still really excited about that. But today we have a part two. I'm going to show you all the Halloween decor that I have acquired through the Halloween hunting and spending way too much money. Um, but, you know, this is my all year decor, so I kind of justify it that, like, I don't put these things away for the most part. If they have a ton of orange on them, I may put them upstairs. But for the most part, a lot of this just stays in my downstairs living space all the time and I enjoy it all year so this is the type of year or time of year where I really do invest in cool pieces that I can get otherwise the rest of the year I'm thrifting estate sales antique shops antique markets yard sales for my home decor you know so yeah anyways let's go ahead and get started um I will leave the video part one link down below for you in case I forgot to say that but let's dive right on in I'm gonna try to remember the prices of everything some of them I left the price tags on, and I'll tell you where I got these things as well. One small little promo before we dive into the first item. I do have a small business. It's the Open Crypts on Etsy. It's where my little Gone Batty earrings are from today. And if you want to check it out for spooky and sweet things, you can. It's linked to the top of the description box. All right, moving on now to let's most of this is like in store kind of purchase. You're going to have to like go find in the wild. This one thing, though, technically isn't Halloween but I've wanted it for a really long time and it just now went on sale, so I had to have it. So this is originally like $65, it's a dupe, for a very expensive thing, but $65, I, I can never justify that much money on a piece of decor that's like small, you know? But she went on sale on Amazon for like 42, and I said this is my time, and I bought her. So we're talking about the Veiled Maiden bust. She's beautiful i love this draped like it, the veil look of the veiled maiden bust it's really cool i will also say there is a version just like this but instead of a lady face it is a skull face has the veil on it and the flower headband and everything at home goods for 20 dollars. i saw that recently but it was a little just like there's a skull wrapped in a veil for me i didn't love it as much as like the romanticness of the woman face so i didn't end up getting that but i did have to get her when she got on sale because i've been looking for forever apparently i posted on tiktok that i got her right because most if you follow me on tiktok you've probably seen a lot of this stuff in this haul already because i just get so excited about new purchases that i post a tiktok showing what i got um but if you haven't someone on that video i posted of her said like oh people were disappointed in the quality from amazon I honestly think she's perfect. She's beautiful. I love all the details. You can even see the ridges in her dress. There are some inconsistencies in the paint, like little, let's see if I can zoom in on it. Like you can see, see spots in the paint here, only on this side. But from a distance, like all the color blends in perfectly. I see no issues with the quality because I've just been dreaming for this piece for such a long time. So this is the first thing. I'll leave the Amazon link down below. I don't know if it's still on sale, but I had to mention her because... It's just been on my wish list for like three years now and I finally got her because I, I figured if it was on sale, it was the time to do it. Next up, this I did find in a Halloween hunting video when I posted one of those. I found this and I could not resist sharing you guys that I bought it. But um, this guy is perfect. He's gorgeous. He's beautiful. I love ghosts. That's like my thing. Like I try not to have too many ghosts in my more gothic, eclectic living space. Like I have a few, you know, but I try not to have like ghosts everywhere. But in my office, I do a ton of like a collection of ghost figurines and I just love ghosts. They're like my favorite part of Halloween decor. So look at this guy. He's got a little jack-o'-lantern on his shoulder. He's so precious. There's like little openings here because there is a light. He does light up. Um, and he's really, really cute. He was, I believe, $7.99 at Ross. It was either $6.99 or $7.99 at Ross. Really affordable, and I thought he was beautiful. I love the layering of the sheets, like the way it just ripples down, especially around these hands, because usually when you get a ghost, um, they're, they're kind of basic, you know, like it has some sheet texture, but I thought the detailing around the little arms here, this little waviness was precious. And he has a pumpkin, and I love him, and he's beautiful, and that price tag, like he had to come home with me for like eight bucks. He had to come home with me. Another Ross find now. I love Joanna Parker stuff. I really do. It's like a vintage inspired 
artistic piece from Joanna Parker Designs, and I love them. They're expensive. You go to Home Goods and you find it, it's gonna be so expensive, you know? But at Ross, it's a hit or a miss on the price tag. So these were $8.99, the salt and pepper shakers. I don't know why I love salt and pepper shakers. I probably have five sets, and I every time I see another cute set, I try to resist the urge to buy salt and pepper shakers. Something about them being petite and cute just does it for me, but I'm trying not to buy anymore. So this is the last pair that I'm gonna buy for the foreseeable future. Just little salt and pepper. Their hats say salt and pepper, so you know the difference. This one was like, he's like a kind of distinguished little guy. This one looks a little more derpy. I don't know, I like them and they're different and like you can tell like the bottom is different per the seasoning if you don't wanna read their hats. So these were so cute. Like the little black cat with the Halloween thing and then Joanna Parker, like I had to have them. Am I gonna use them? I don't know. They might go in this cabinet back here with all my Joanna Parker mugs that I look at but don't use, but they're cute and I could use them if I wanted to. Speaking of Joanna Parker, again, found this in a Halloween hunting video. I, uh, I'm still feeling guilty about how much this cost for the fact that, you know, it's not very useful as someone who has a lot of containers in her house, but it was Joanna Parker and I've wanted this piece for a long time. So. This is my Joanna Parker um, canister. Now, if I paid $30 at Home Goods for this, I wouldn't feel bad about it. I'd be like, well, I got a deal because Home Goods is like pretty expensive considering it's a discount store. But at Ross, $30 for this was like, Ross, girl, this should have been 20. But regardless, I got this ghost canister. The head is not attached. Like there's not even like a suction ring or anything. It just sits in there. It makes me feel like I'm gonna break it. I kind of wish there was like a silicone ring in here. I don't know, but it's just kind of sitting on here willy-nilly. But the ghost himself is precious. He's beautiful. I love him. Um, I don't know if this is helpful at all if you're trying to buy this yourself, but here's the tag that was on it and the name of it and everything. But I do love it. Like, I think he's precious, and I love his face, and I love a ghost, and I love Joanna Parker. I just know I probably won't use it because the lid is kind of sketchy and because he'll probably just sit with the rest of my ghost collection. But I love him. His face is cute. He was just a little expensive. He caught me off guard with his price tag. But he's precious. And I love him. And I feel like he'll hold his value, probably. Next ghosty item, because your girl likes ghosties. This bag is actually full right now, so I could like show it to you. Like fill it up and see how big it is. This is a little tote bag. I'm using it as a lunch bag so I can like put lunch in it for my husband and everything, because I pack his lunch every day for work. So I need some of these like smaller tote bags. I didn't want to get the really, like the, um, you know, like the plastic reusable ones. I don't want to use one of those. So this is kind of a canvassy material. It's a ghost and it's a double sided. It's a ghost on both sides. And it was only $4.99 at TJ Maxx. It's cute, right? Like it's a pretty decent size, like for a lunch bag. Let's see. Like it's not too in the way. It's not too bulky. He's precious. I do kind of wish there was a button in here to close it. I could add one if I wanted to but I thought he was cute for five bucks. Next up, I'm obsessed with dish towels. I don't know, I love dish towels, like spooky hand towels. I have a ton of them. Some of them, depending on the design, like I won't get Joanna Parker ones anymore because they get ruined and just wear and tear of using them all the time because I do use the spooky ones all year long. Sometimes I need new ones, so I'm kind of, I've been picky because I do a lot of the hand towels about which ones I get this year, but I did get these. These were from Home Goods. They're so cute. It was a pack of three, so I got two of these striped bats and one of these just orange and black. I wish it was a four set. These were $10 for three hand towels. I do kind of wish it was four set, but this one's my favorite, and then I got two of the stripey ones. They're cute and they're subtle, but they're Halloween and they're pretty and they're absorbent. All the hand towels, like this is the first hand towels I bought this year, this season, because all the hand towels I've seen this year suck on absorbency. And I'm actually trying to use these. Like I have plenty of hand towels that are just like display, but I actually need to be able to use them. So I've been picky about getting absorbent ones this year. These are really nice. Love them. Also from Home Goods, I got some cat toys. So these kind of look like the Joanna Parker little ghosty guy and cat in a little bit of a sense. These were $4.99 for all three of them. Unfortunately, I did buy another pack of cat toys similar to that, but they had like a little bell on one of them and some of them were crinkly and they were $7, but the cashier at Home Goods apparently didn't put it in my bag. 
because when I got home it wasn't there and I searched all in my car like in case it came out of the bag and it wasn't there um so and then when I called the store they hadn't seen it so I guess what it is threw it in a separate bag for my other stuff and then I guess whoever they rang out next got some free cat toys so it happens but I had to get my cats some goodies too because they need to be involved in the spookiness I can't wait any longer I have to share with you guys my holy grail like I found this yesterday and that's why I'm filming this today because like <sighs> After years and years of looking, I've been like, at, okay, so I, I casually looked for the first couple years, and then the last like four or so years, three or four years, I've been like avidly looking for this piece in particular, and even when I was casually looking, like I've never seen this piece in person before, and then yesterday I finally found it because I went to a different side of town I don't normally shop on, and that paid off. I got the headless freaking horseman. Now, there are three different versions of this horseman. There is the one that I have, which has an orange pumpkin that lights up on the top. There is a switch on the bottom of the pumpkin and he lights up. There's also one that's solid black that I really wanted. Like that, if I had to pick one, I'd obviously pick that one. Because if I paint this pumpkin, he's not gonna light up anymore. He's not gonna glow. That might be something I have to sacrifice because I just don't care for the orange pumpkin. And then there's also one of these that is just gold, which is, fabulous honestly it's so fabulous but i finally got a headless horseman ah. so should i leave it orange so it'll glow but let's be real am i gonna remember to cut it on or should i just paint the head dark gray so it's a little bit different than the horse color which is like a black or i could paint it black to match this was 30 dollars now, I also paid $30 for that Joanna Parker ghost container, remember? And I was really upset about the price tag of that. For this, I've been looking for it for so long, I was happy to give them my $30. Happy to do it. This is a beautiful piece. I love the kind of like hammered, hand carved texture of it all. It is flawed. I'm not gonna sit here and say it's perfect. It's flawed. It looks like there's like this really harsh, I don't know if we can even tell. There's this really, it's not showing. There's this really harsh line at the feet of the horse that looks just not right. And then also underneath of this horse's chin, there's some holes, like it's hollow, there's some holes and there's a glue showing on both sides. Like there's some glue. You see that discoloration of just glue right there. And there's some other like small nicks and dings on it too, but I got the Headless Horseman. If he's not perfect, that's fine because you know what? I found the piece I've been after for a long time. He was the only one in the store. I found him on the floor like someone had hit him underneath of a rack. Sorry. <laughs> he was like on the floor in the back end of a rack next to the hand towels. But um, he's mine now. He's beautiful. I love him. He's wonderful. I love the old um, Adventures of Ichabod Crane or whatever they called it. The Disney cartoon film back in the day we first watched it in like elementary school and i thought it was so good and then sleepy hollow the movie with johnny depp and christina ricci came out and i love that movie like i love that movie so much and now i have this piece and it just really ties it all together and i think it's beautiful and i love the way his cape swooshes behind him look at that swoosh like he's in motion beautiful piece Love it. I know some people said they saw this in person and I didn't like it as much. I love it just as much. I think I just may paint the pumpkin head. And it looks like the hunt continues because um, he's devastatingly broken the day, my, the day after I filmed this video you're watching. I put him on this windowsill where I wanted him to sit to see how I like the space. I liked it. I went to go get museum gel. And before I even got out of the room, one of the cats knocked him over and broke him. So yeah, I had a great cry about that. Now for something slightly disappointing. I got these really cute bowls. I bought two of these really cute bowls from Home Goods. They were $6.99, so seven bucks each. They have cute ghosties on them. There's more ghosties on the inside and like bigger ones on the outside. They're from Coco and Lola, the premium collection. Really cute bowls for $7. I bought two of them. I was like, husband and wife bowls for dinners and stuff. <laughs> And then before I even took them out of the home goods bag yesterday, one dropped on the floor and shattered. Now I was lucky that both of them didn't shatter because they were like, there was a piece of paper in between them. I think I could have lost both, but I only lost one. So now I'm in search of a replacement for the one I broke because I don't like having a single lone bowl. I like things in pairs. So yeah, I'm in search of 
one of these and then also like three years ago now i broke one of these skull bowls and i've never found a replacement for it and i halloween shop a lot just like looking for like certain pieces i've never found a replacement for that bowl so there's that if you see that let me know i'll pay for what it costs and shipping but yeah i mean it's a cute bowl regardless i just need to find another one now Next up, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to love this piece. This was from Ross. It was $9.99. Look at this beautiful witch. Look at this beautiful witch on a pumpkin pedestal. $9.99. She's lovely. Now, my cats did knock this over and break her broom off. <laughs> Fortunately, though, I don't really think you can really tell um, that we epoxied it back on. So she is fragile. I mean, she just knocked over very slightly and just broke her tail off but isn't she cute for $9.99 she's really cute so I'm definitely gonna museum gel secure her somewhere that she won't get knocked over and break again but she's pretty and for the record she is hollow I learned that when her tail broke her her broom broke off she's hollow so she's very lightweight she doesn't she looks heavier than she is so last Ross item I waited for like 35 40 minutes in line at Ross because some for some reason Ross always has the longest line in the world, <laughs> you know, but I had to have this piece. So uh, I waited a really long time for this because I've seen this for years and I've never seen it for myself. Look at the bats and the moon. This is metal, you guys. This is like a, a lightweight iron. It is three bats flying into a moon with one bat flying through the center. This bat's loose and hangs. I love this piece. I love this piece so much. They also had three bats lined up on a bar and they were hanging from the bar. That was really cute for $11.99. This was $16.99. So after tax, I came out to like 18 and some change. This is gorgeous. This is beautiful. I have a couple pieces from several years ago from this kind of like metal, bat ross line there's also some with spiders on it and i always get compliments on these pieces so when i saw this one with the big moon on it and the moon has like dimples and texture i was absolutely coming home with this i will say when it comes to these metal ross pieces though don't order them online make sure you see them in person because this metal is not a, a solid black metal it's a black coating on the outside so like the hanging bat in this one if it scratches against the other piece of metal even in the bags and stuff, you'll you'll see the black paint come off and it's silver underneath. So make sure you like secure it to a wall. Don't have it hanging anywhere. Like don't have it, like don't don't wind chime it. You know, like don't have it wind in the wind and the breeze where it could hit something and scratch all the paint off. Have it secured against a wall is my advice for those pieces. So I decided not to show any like thrifted or estate sale or antique market decor in this video. But if you guys want to see some like updated secondhand home pieces like from yard sales and stuff or flea markets or thrift stores you know all that let me know i'd be happy to do that but my last piece today i for like halloween decor itself is this fruit bowl from home goods this was 20 dollars. it has little spiders on it there's a spider on each side it looks like a spider web i love the design and shape of this it's really pretty right now i'm storing a bunch of muffins in it because i don't have too much fruit at the moment but it's just easy to have on your counter filled with items for like grab and go kind of things. And I love it because it's metal. I love black metal. Like it's a thing I love. Okay, so isn't that cute? 20 bucks. It's, it's a pretty good size too. Anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. Please let me know your favorite piece of decor down below. Obviously, I'm kind of... I'm kind of in love with the Headless Horseman. I love the Veiled Maiden bust. I like the Joanna Parker ghost thing. I just wish it was a little cheaper. Um, like the Ross metal moon piece is so cute. Like I love everything that I got. I've been trying to be picky this year and not just get things for the sake of getting it. Either getting things because I just love a unique ghosty or because it really matches my all year home decor, which is very spooky, gothic, eclectic, you know, um, and matching with my color scheme as well. I've been trying to avoid a lot of bright whites or, um, oranges. You know, I'll have a little bit here and there, but I'm not trying to like, whoosh, overwhelm everything you know but anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it be sure to share with me something down below that you got in this year that you enjoy it doesn't have to be spooky just like tell me a piece of home decor you've purchased recently that like just makes you happy because that's what you know that's all that matters at the end of the day so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you later have a beautiful day wherever you are bye guys
Oh, and stay cool because it's hot. I'm sweaty. It's hot all the time. <laughs>